Hello everyone, welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 11, lesson 5, customary units of weight. Page number is uh, 723. Uh, guys, before starting today's lesson, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay. So as you guys know, we are taking customary units. Customary units are the British system uh, of uh, measurements. And the weight is the weight of an object is how heavy it is. Okay. So the customary units of weight are ounce, OZ, the short form is OZ, pound, IB, and ton, the capital T. Now here you guys have an idea an ounce is like a small strawberry okay even less than a small strawberry it's very light okay and uh, our one pound is equal to a pineapple like this one okay uh, one pound is equal to 16 ounces okay uh, this ounce is for the solid things. If you remember in the last lesson of capacity, we were uh, talking about fluid ounces. That is for liquid fluid ounce, in which one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. But here, one pound is equal to 16 ounces. Okay, And one ton, which is almost equal to a car, and one ton is equal to... 2,000 pounds, almost equal to 2,000 pounds, okay? And if you convert 110 uh, in metric units, it is equal to uh, 1,000 kilograms. It is exactly equal to 1,000 kilograms and almost equal to 2,000 pounds, okay? So uh, we will not use the conversion in this lesson. We will just uh, estimate in this lesson but I told you so you can uh, easily do the next lesson. So let us repeat. One ounce is like a strawberry and one pound is like a pineapple and one pound is equal to 16 ounces. Okay. And one ton is like a car and one ton is equal to 2000 pounds. Okay. Let us start the lesson now here. If you see this sugar bag. Okay. Uh, it's not that much light like a strawberry or not that much heavy like a car. So the reasonable estimate for this sugar bag is pound, right? So here, so pound is a reasonable unit to use for the weight of a bag of sugar. Okay, let us, we will estimate exactly like this in this lesson. Let us continue. The next page here, this leaf. Of course, it's a lighter one, so almost you can say from the given things, one ounce, one pound, or one ton, or ten tons. Of course, the lighter one, one ounce, because it's really light. Okay, uh, this paper plane from these four options, of course, four ounces is the reasonable. Even I think four ounces is too much for this paper plane, but from these options, the reasonable one is four ounces. For this helicopter, of course, it's too heavy. It must be in tons. Uh, but 500 cars uh, will be too much. So for almost like a helicopter is a big one. So five tons you can say. Okay. A rabbit, uh, four pounds. And 40 pounds will be too much. Like it's not like a buffalo. So four pounds. Okay. Okay. Let's move to the next page. Here is it. Uh, I don't know what is it. It's a nut or something like that. So uh, the reasonable one is one ounce. This bed, uh, you can say 100 pounds. Okay. And this thing, four ounces. Uh, it's a large thing. Okay. And uh, this uh, container uh, bus, almost three tons. Uh, this goldfish, two ounces. This desk, 18 pounds. Is it more reasonable to say that a pair of shoes weigh one ounce, one pound, or one ton? One ounce will be two less like a strawberry, you know, one ton like a car. No, of course, one pound. 
Is it more reasonable to say that a pencil? Of course, the pencil is a lighter thing, so we will choose the lighter, lighter unit, uh, two ounces. Okay, here is it. Which is most reasonable for the weight of two uh, thoroughbred horses? One ounce, one pound, one ton. Of course, uh, for two horses, you can say one ton. Okay, and for four horses, you can say two tons. Got it, guys? Okay, let us move down. Estimate the weight of four books. You can say one book is almost uh, two pounds. So four books uh, around eight pounds. We are just estimating in this. Here you can estimate some things on your desk and write the names here. I hope you guys understand this lesson. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And don't forget to send me your homeworks through Pioneer. Have a nice day. Thank you so much guys.